Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 78. Okay, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 9, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're on the sheet R for rate. In the last video, we saw how to use this diagram and solve for principal, the amount borrowed. But here we want to see how to solve for rate. Now, same similar to last video, the way this diagram works for memorization trick is you cover this R up with your finger, and that means I, the dollar amount of the interest divided by, in parentheses, principal times time will always give you the rate. right? So interest divided by, in parentheses, principal times time gives us the rate. All right, let's look at some examples here. And again, the textbook uh, is using 360 for most of the problems. Uh, only when it says otherwise will they use 365 or something else. Hey, solve for rate. That's what we're doing here. So here's our first example. If you borrow $11,250 for 90 days and you pay $225 in simple interest, what was the annual simple interest rate? Here's our principal, our days, and our interest paid. Well, first, let's calculate fraction of year. That's our t, right? t always has to be fraction of the year. Equals 90, and I went ahead and put the 360 in the cell. All right, so 0.25 a year. Now we have our t for time. Now to calculate our annual simple interest rate, we use our formula, the dollar amount interest divided by principal times time. And we do not have to round. This is not a dollar amount. All right, so I'm going to take the interest, dollar amount interest, and divide it by, very carefully putting parentheses, principal times, and time always has to be fraction of a year. So 8%. Now let's check this. Just using our basic interest equals principal times rate times time. So principal times rate. That's the rate we just checked. If it's correct, it better give us exactly 225, right? Principal times rate times our time, comma 2, 225. Ding, ding, ding. So those are equal. So that's 8% we solve for the simple interest rate. Here's our second example. If you borrow $50,000 for four months and pay $1,000 in simple interest, what's the annual simple interest rate? Our 50K, there's the interest we earned, and it was for four months. Let's calculate fraction of the year. Hey, this is month, so we divide by 12. Annual simple interest rate, no need to use the round, just interest dollar amount divided by, and in parentheses, we want to force the multiplication principal times time in years. We want to force that multiplication to happen and then the division. So we write it like that. OK, so this one sucked the number format from there. So I'm going to remove it. I'm going to apply general right right there. I'm going to drop down and apply general, or control shift tilde to apply it with a keyboard. Let's check. Using our basic formula, principal times rate, that's what we just calculated. If that's calculated correct, then uh, oh, principal times rate times time. If that was correct there, then it should give us $1,000, right? Comma 2, we'll round it to the penny, because this is money. 1,000, so ding, ding, ding. All right, example number three, if you borrow 2500 pay simple interest of 1250 have an issue date of 1122 and a due date of 1212 both in the year 2011 what was the simple interest rate okay so the the bit of information we're not given we're given principal and interest paid right we don't have the term but no problem due date issue date we've learned in this class many times so far these our dates underneath our whole number, so we can simply do date math. Always the later date minus the earlier date, or in our case, due date minus issue date. Wow, OK, so 20 days. You know, for some of us who are uh, new to this, that seems like a short amount of time, but it's very common for businesses to borrow money for short amount of, short amount of time like that, 20 days. 
All right, fraction of the year, we'll continue to use our 360 banker's interest. Again, if you're using exact interest, it would be 365 or 366. All right, so we're going to do that division, and that will give us a fraction of the year, our t, which of course we need for, to calculate uh, our annual simple interest rate. All right, so here's our formula, dollar amount interest rate divided by principal times time. 1250, that's the dollar amount of our interest, divided by, very carefully in parentheses, principal times the fraction of the year. Ah, so I got formatting again. I'm going to remove that formatting, 0 0.09. Let's check it. Equals round, I'm going to take principal times our newly calculated rate times our time. Two. And that should give us 1250. Yay, it gives us 1250. All right, so in this video, we saw how to calculate annual simple interest rate given principal dollar amount for interest in time as a fraction of a year. All right, uh, next video, we'll learn how to solve for time. All right, see you next video.